What's up, Cal Gang? We have this plane curve problem right here, and it wants us to uh, find this integral with these uh, lines of the curve, basically. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to turn everything in terms of t, because here we have like y and its respect to arc length. We need a, just a formula with just t in it. So how are we gonna do that? Well, what we have here is we have x and y, and what we can do is we can turn this into a vector. So what we wanna do is we say r of t, this is our vector, it's gonna be equal to the x value, this is a function, like at x, with or this is like, x is a function of t, basically. So x of t is t squared, and y of t is 2t. Boom, right that. And we know that what we're looking for is the magnitude of the, uh, the derivative of this uh, vector, basically. So if we can find that, and then we use it with our formula, basically. So let's find the vector, or the uh, derivative of this. It's equal to 2t, two, two. Pretty cool, right? All right. Now the magnitude of this is just going to be equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So 2t squared is 4t squared plus 4. All right, so this is what we got here. So now when we reparameterize, we put things in terms of t, and then ds, ds becomes um, magnitude r prime of t dt. So we have this here. This is what we found, and we can just turn it into dt. Now we need y in terms of t. But y in terms of t is just 2t, because we literally are just given this from the start. So it's perfect. So our integral is going to be, and actually even our bounds of t, which is between 0 and 3. So 0 and 3, 2t, because y is equal to 2t. ds becomes magnitude, which is square root 4t squared plus 4 dt. And there we go. We have an integral that is actually in terms of one variable. That's a 4, not a y. It's in terms of one variable t. And we can solve it. And you're looking at it, it's probably like, oh, that's a u sub. And yeah, it's a u sub. U sub is cool, but pretty easy. So u is equal to 4t squared plus 4. du is equal to 8t dt. Uh, we have a 2t on the outside, so I'm just going to say 1 over 4 du is equal to 2t dt. Uh, now I'm going to reparameterize our bounds. So u of 0 is equal to, you put 0 into this because we have 0 here, gives us 4 u of 3 is equal to uh, 9 times 4 is 36 plus 4, so 40. So we can rewrite this integral in terms of u as 4 to 40 um, square root of u d, right? But also we have to not forget about our constant, 1 fourth comes out in front. I forget that all the time. You have to like, I don't know how to figure it out. I think you just gotta like, just gotta like circle it a million times. Be like, don't forget the one fourth. That's what I did on the test once, and it did work. So maybe do that. All right, so we can solve this integral. One fourth uh, u becomes two thirds u to the three halves from four to forty. And it's gonna get pretty ugly, but we can simplify it a little bit because the book simplifies it. So this is equal to uh, you can bring out the two halves or two thirds. That's gonna become two over twelve, which is one over six. 40 to the 3 halves minus 4 to the 3 halves. 4 to the 3 halves just becomes 8, I'm pretty sure, because, yeah, that's become 8. All right, so if it were me, I'd just end the problem right here, but I'm pretty sure the book gives you a different answer. And I'm going to show you how to find that answer. So I don't know I don't know what this is called, but it's just like, it's what I learned. When you have like a square root of 40, for example, you can break it up into, you like make a chart. So it breaks into 2 and 20. This breaks to 2 and 10. This breaks into 2 and 5. Uh, so we have 2 here, two twos here that can match, which means you can bring out a 2, and then these next two numbers will multiply. So what is it? this is a 2 square root of 10. But this is all to the 3 halves, or this is all to the third, basically, because you just brought out the 1 half. So if you multiply that, you get 8 square root of 10. All right, hold on, let me see. Make sure this is right. Uh, yep, that's right. Actually, never mind, this 10, this tends to the 3. Okay, but then this is all to the 3 halves, basically, so. That looks really ugly, but you guys know what I'm doing, right? So i is equal to 1 over 6, but, and then it'll be equal to 8, square root, or okay, not square root. I mean, you guys can do square root. 10 to the 3 halves minus 8. What you can do is you can bring out the 8, and this is how the book writes it, 4 thirds. 
uh, 10 to the 3 halves minus 1. And that's your answer, simplified. But yeah, that's not that important. The most important part is making sure you set the integral right, you know the formulas, you don't forget the, the ds is equal to the r prime of t dt. But yeah, that's the problem. Uh, good luck on your calc homework. Good job.